17 is your time. Looking ahead in a matter of months, pandemic aid for schools across the country will expire. Now, this comes as several districts are preparing their budgets for the new school year. GMS Lorena Rivas spoke to an East Texas district on the additional challenges they're specifically facing. Dr. Wayne Goodry is the Assistant Superintendent of Finance for Longview ISD. The district has been preparing for the past three years for this upcoming school year. We knew that with ESSER funding going away that we would be in this spot. The Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund, or ESSER, was pandemic aid given to school districts across the country. Those funds are expected to expire by the end of September. Every district in the state is having to cut back resources uh, for this upcoming budget season. We did not make anybody leave. People retired and staff members left. And so we did cut a lot of positions back um, through attrition over the past six months. Goodry says there's another reason why this budgeting season is challenging. I haven't received new funding since 2019. And so districts throughout the state are having to give raises every year to try to attract new teachers to the field. Texas had a historic surplus of $32.7 billion in the last regular session. But there was no increase to the amount schools receive from the state for each student. Governor Greg Abbott did not sign an education bill if it didn't include any school vouchers. You know, in Texas, we take great pride in everything we do. I'm just not sure why our legislature doesn't take pride in education. Even without any new education funds, Goodry says the district is maximizing the funding it receives for career and technology education. And increased our career and technology education revenue by about $3 million a year. He also says this benefits the student in offering them skills in the work field in communities who are in need of skilled workers. You know, this is our future. Uh, these are the kids who are going to take care of us one day. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Lorena Rivas. And Texas schools received more than $19 billion in ESSER funds. It was used to pay for a range of things, from funding summer school to hiring more teachers. Now that's expected to expire in two months' time in September.